It would be just four years after this film that Phyllis Isley, who played Celia, would be introduced to the world as Jennifer Jones. And back with me to talk about the star of this early Jennifer Jones movie is Scott Iman, the author of the definitive new biography, John Wayne, The Life and Legend. Uh, let's talk a little about the, uh, the Three Musketeers, uh, what that was, that it, John Wayne was part of this. It was a popular series that Republic had, and they, kept, they changed the cast all the time. They would move in guys in and out. It was basically two rootin' tootin' cowboys and a comic. Okay, uh, and, that they the, that the, and they travel around together. And they travel around and get into messes. Uh, and, and were they advertised as the Three Musketeers? It was always the Three Musketeers. Uh -huh. And then, but you could, sometimes it was Ray Corrigan, sometimes it was John Wayne, sometimes it was Duncan Ronaldo. I mean, they would move actors in and out depending upon who they thought was hot and who was leaving Republic and who was coming to Republic. It was kind of their generic Western series. Uh -huh. And it ran for years. There were over 40 of them. Really? Wayne, Wayne made eight. And they were shot, for Republic, they were on the upside of the production roster. They would take eight days, 10 days, sometimes as much as 12 days really? to make them. So in the nine years after The Big Trail, he'd gone from three-day pictures uh, to 10-day pictures. So with his progress in terms of the business, in terms of prestige productions, was incremental. It was tiny. And he was growing increasingly restless and uh, desperate to get out of, of the ghetto of B-Westerns. How many would he make in a year of these three-day wonders or five-day wonders? Six, eight. They were usually done in, ter in series of six. They were sold as a block uh -huh. to exhibitors as a series of six. Sometimes they would be sold as eight, but generally it was six because they would buy them in mass. Because there was a market, there was a heavy market in the South, uh, the Mid-South, and the West for Westerns. He was not a star in 1937, 1938 in terms of New York or Chicago right. or Los Angeles. He was a star in terms of Waco and Asheville and, and Miami. And, and Colfax, like Washington. That. And Colfax, Washington, yes. exactly. That's where he was a star. And that was the foundation right. upon which he built John Wayne. Yeah. Well, let's move on. Straight ahead, more John Wayne. It's another B picture that the Duke made early in his career. This one, though, made for Warner Brothers and co-starring his horse named Duke. Tonight on Turner Classic Movies, star of the month John Wayne fights more than just bandits in Haunted Gold. Then the Duke gets roped into the outlaw's life in Somewhere in Sonora. And Wayne is a stepping stone for Barbara Stanwyck in Babyface. Hi, 